in jagrat or it is in swapna dream or it is in susupti in jagrata it is made of the wakeful world what you are seeing when we are wakeful it is all made of the five perceptions panchabhuta similarly in susupt in dream in swapna also although it is in our mind there we have created all the five perceptions as we are having in jagrat so that is also pr- made of the five coordinates now in susupti it is not the prapancha in that sense but the fact is that then also it is the darkness or the signal less state which is another state of the consciousness so any state we talk about it is made of it is all the whether it is full of wakeful signal or dream signal or no signal all these things are a manifestation of the differential manifestation of the soul or consciousness of the atma know that tat brahma ahamiti that brahman on which the whole universe is appearing to be that i am tat brahma see here also he is saying tat brahma that means he has not known that this i am he is saying tat brahma ahamiti no jnatva no that brahman to be as i am knowing that sarva bandhai pramuchyate it's a statement that by that one can get rid of all bondages now how will you have that here he said tad brahma ahamiti jnatva knowing that that brahman is what i am now he have to say that how to know about it now immediately you will understand those who have done the sadhana also to the as we proceed we find the greatest obstacle is the bhoga ichcha bhoga ichcha that means the desire that means we always our tendency is to enjoy tendency is to get joy from anything whether it is outside or inside initially for a sadhak who is a serious sincere practitioner of spiritual knowledge initially the bhogacha is about enjoying the world something from the world either gross or subtle gross means food property etc comfort subtle means fame name expectations fulfillment etc but everywhere from something we are wanting to become fulfilled or to joyous to become joyous that is we are looking for joy that means there is a lack of joy in us abhava bodha as we have earlier also discussed as you start withdrawing from the world through meditation we practice dhyana and all then once we discover the blissfulness when the mind forgets everything and we are deep we are absorbed deep within then we get flooded with ananda then we think that so far in the world for so many years so many things i have enjoyed but it was never like this it is overwhelming bliss but it is still you are enjoying the bliss we have to remember that so what happens in meditation once we get this joy every day we sit for meditation and look for joy look for this blissfulness and that becomes the bondage we cannot progress for that if you look for that blissfulness one thing is that that will not come every day so you will become sad you will become defeated you will become depressed all these things will come finally you may stop meditating also this is generally what is happening on the other hand you are still remaining different from the truth you have the still i am somebody and i am knowing something i am the enjoyer and that is the enjoyment i am the bhokta and that is the bhogya and what is what is giving me joy is the bhoga the process of enjoyment is giving me the bhoga this is generally referred to as the triputi all kinds of triputi that everywhere subject object and the relationship between the subject and the object that is called the triputi knower 
to be known and the knowing process subject object and the process the in, the relationship between the two so bhokta i am the bhokta there is something to be enjoyed so that is bhogya and bhoga that the process of enjoyment is bhoga so we are still having the feeling that i am small i am somebody i have to enjoy this bliss it is different from me so that becomes the hindrance because we have to think very scientifically what are we trying to do we are trying to get rid of the subject object difference is it not so i am seeing or enjoying the world or something in the world i am thinking i am small and i want to have something different from me but the fact is that the truth the soul is what i am so until i stop looking for something different from me the truth will not be understood not be known so the process is i have to stop looking for something else something other than what i am stop completely looking for anything else anything other than me but that we are not able to do because our of our tendency to bhoga that is why i said the hindrance is the bhogechha that means whatever it is oh i want to become self realized so that is self is something different from me i have to know self and then i will become happy by knowing the self i will become that is self and me are different so as long as we are looking for the self as different from me we will never know the self because self is not different from me i am the self and what is hindering the process that i am thinking me as a egoistic personality who want to know the self want to become self realized that bhogechha of becoming self realized the desire the desire is the last hindrance there also so we have to get rid of the tendency to enjoy that looking for something different from me that is the ultimate sadhana to stop looking for something different even if shiva is your upadeshta and vishnu your guide and brahma is your guru know that you will not be able to be established in self until you forget everything forgetting everything means what mind nothing will come in the mind why what can i forget when can i forget everything when there is no desire at all even the desire for self realization also has to be dropped there not right in the beginning then you will not try but when everything is done that desire becomes the hindrance then that desire also has to be dropped